Hey guys, pet nutrition blogger Rodney Abib here. I mean, we always ask ourselves as pet parents the ultimate question. Are we giving our pets enough when it comes to nutrition? Are we feeding them the right foods so they will live long, healthy lives? Is there an actual ideal food that we could add to those bowls to make them better? So to answer this question, I went to the world leading expert when it comes to balancing foods. Spreadsheet guru, Steve Brown. This man has formulated foods for a multitude of pet food companies around the world, but seeing that Today, there's so many different variations of diets out there. You have some people that are feeding processed kibbles and cans, and you have other people that are feeding raw foods or home prep. We had to break it into two categories. So the first question I posed to Steve Brown is, Steve, if you had to pick one food that you could add to a bowl of fresh food to make it better, what would that be? That's easy. Mussels. Because a lot of the raw foods are short manganese, iodine, and the fats may not be good, and they may be short vitamin D. We can get all of that from here. And most stores have frozen mussels. You can find them in, in most freezers. And if you have an adult dog and you're feeding some vegetables, all you need are one or two a day. So what I do is I have my, my 80-10-10 diet here, if you can see it. I add two mussels. This is for adult dogs, for 40-pound dog. I'm going to add just a heaping tablespoon of salmon for the vitamin D and a pinch of kelp to make sure I have the iodine. Can't see Bebop eating it right now. Okay, now for the people that are feeding kibble, let's say. What is the best thing, Steve, that you would add to make that diet better? A can of sardines. In olive oil or in water, not in soy oil, in olive oil or water, a can of sardines. It's going to add EPA and DHA, those fats we need from fish. That's really going to help the dog. It's going to add a lot of trace minerals. It's going to add manganese, iodine, zinc, copper, and, and many other nutrients that may not be in dry dog food. So for a 40-pound dog, if this will be one quarter of a day's serving. So we move a quarter of the dry dog food, add this instead, once or twice a week, and I think we've done a good job. Hey guys, I hope this helps when it comes to making your foods at home or if you want to add something to that bowl of kibble to enhance it. If you look at some of these animals around the world that are the oldest living animals, dogs and cats, they all had a variety of nutrition in their diet, a whole different complexity of foods in their diets. You know, if we think about it logically, there is no one ideal food out there because if there was, we would be eating it and our children would be eating it. But for some reason, when it comes to our pets, we sort of turn that mentality off and we believe that we could buy something in a bag and it will have absolutely absolutely everything that they possibly need on earth in that bag. If life were that easy, I promise you that is how the entire population would be eating. We know because our parents taught us and their parents taught them that a variety of foods is important. A different complex nutrient profile from different categories of food would be essential because we would be giving our bodies a whole different spectrum of nutrients.